This is an experience I've been waiting for since even I was a kid. I grew up off of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and Dragon Ball Supers, then the games and the comic books. Yes, Bob Man right there. Yes, you tell, you know. Fist bump, turn around, turn around. Hey, sir, turn around. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. Come on. See, even they don't understand how much us hip hop nerdy kids grew up waiting for every episode, sat in front of the screen screaming. Ah! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> but to now have it here for you at Mac West, it's all because these are real artists, real musicians. This is keep music AI free. You're gonna witness it right here, right now. There's no, no, no computers. These three guys right here together will give you that chance. So now I give you their time, this moment, SSJ experience. my god, I don't think I've ever had... <laughs> I'm afraid to talk after that. Uh, we are we are SSJ, and that stands for, well, Super Saiyajin, Sa Saiyajin and Mike Smith? Hello. Mike Hello. Sis Smith? Thank you. Scott! Esther Scott, Scott, Scott Morgan. And Jay for Julius. Julius DeBosch. Yes. So, uh... <laughs> One thing, we are not a band, right? We are composers. <laughs> and we live in um, three, the... three separate states, and uh, we meet like <coughs> once a year. So, so we're going to put on the best show for you. <laughs> the, the best show this year. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, we're excited to play for you tonight, and uh, we hope you. This brings back everything from from the show.
So the next tune here is uh, <clears throat> about our, our favorite anti-hero, ours anyway. Uh, the Man in Blue, Vegeta. See if you recognize this one. next one has a funny story. It was actually um, written during a war. You guys are Dragon Ball fans. You know this stuff, right? Like, at the, uh, at the end of the Frieza saga, there was a lull between that and the Garlic Jr. saga. And so this is something that Mike wrote just as a theme. He didn't know what it was for. It was a hero theme. And then 
And then when the Garlic Jr. started, I, I decided to put it in as a Gohan theme. And you guys know it as it's we, I don't, we haven't figured out why it's named this, but it's called Gohan Fights Frieza. Because it, it was never used for Gohan Fights Frieza. It wasn't even Frieza. written yet. And, and we think that... <laughs> Thank you very much. So uh, a, f a few years ago, what was it like, 2018 maybe? Tw uh, all right. So it's sometime uh, before the pandemic, uh, a little while, uh, a fella named Geekdom101 reached out to us and he asked us if we'd do an interview. The three of us, and it, so it got the ball rolling. We did this interview and from that, uh, the idea came about that we would try to get together and, and, and play some of the old tunes, you know? And uh, so that led us to our first, you know, get together. Because we live on, a, you know, different, different sections of the country and everything. And uh, so we got together in Seattle um, for a few days to try to put together the, f the beginnings of the set that we play today. And... Uh, and this tune was not a Dragon Ball Z song. It was just something that I had been uh, kind of cooking up on my own. And, uh, and these guys jumped in on it. And it's called Sirens. I hope you enjoy it. It's, it's an SSJ original for SSJ's sake here. So uh, please, enjoy Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Scott Morgan and Julius DeBosch, my friends. Those guys. Okay, watch out now. This is Scott Morgan. Go ahead. Uh, Scott has a story to tell us. <clears throat> but I have to switch guitars. Okay, so let me tell you what. Uh, yeah, Scott, you'll notice he's using a seven-string guitar on this. Uh, don't, don't see those every day. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we appreciate the audience participation for sure. <laughs> So, <laughs> Scott, why don't you tell us about this tune? So, <laughs> so uh, there's a character called Trunks. Have you guys heard of this guy? <laughs> so, uh, originally, uh, Mike wrote an amazing theme for, uh, for Trunks. It is awesome. And, and, and I, I, I got to play guitar on that track as well. And... Um, I love that track, but and, and we used it for uh, the the promo for Trunks, and um, and then when when it came time to uh, put the music in the episodes, we we used that theme and it was awesome. I wish you guys could see it, but there were arrangements made of that theme which are on the CDs, um, and uh, but Funimation come back to us two times saying that it wasn't heavy enough. Those guys. It wasn't dark enough that the Trunks is, uh, he needs some dark music. So, and the words that I was, that we were given eventually were, they want heavy beyond belief. So Scott, man, is all you can play the hard stuff? Man? <laughs> so, uh, 
So uh, this next one is, um, is actually f uh, called Calm, and it is from those moments between the epic fights where uh, they might, our heroes might just be sitting on the beach <laughs> and, uh, you know, looking at the sunset and chilling. Um, and it, it was originally included on our set as kind of a joke because to c it came, it follows uh, Beyond Belief or Destruction, which we just played. <laughs> so, so nobody's ever laughed. And so, so laugh with me today as I play this um, <laughs> short and. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also supposed to be beautiful. <laughs> this one, right? Thank you very much. So the next track. Hi everyone. Hey, there's Julius. This is the start of my section. <laughs> okay. Um, so the next track. I don't have to bore you with composition stories, but uh, there's an interesting thing that I realized. The first track that I worked on for Dragon Ball Z was called Space Room, um, and it's kind of like an awe-inspiring, wondrous, hopeful, um, really nice track. And, and the, um, 
the visuals are also like really nice in space. And so I was inspired to write uh, this very simple chord progression of only five harmonies. And this is kind of pretty interesting that five harmonies can give you all these feelings. Uh, but then what's even more interesting that I realized, this is the first track, and I moved to the, to the US about a long time ago, <laughs> 20 something years ago. And um, before I left Europe, the last track I worked on, I never realized that there was a connection between that and the first track that I did for Dragon Ball Z. It took me months to realize that it's actually the same chord progression. So I kind of stole from myself not knowing that I did that. Um, so I'm just gonna show you these uh, chord progressions and play this very, very simple track. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, the cell theme. Uh, not to give too much away, uh, it is a cell theme. Scott tells me that this is one of the more popular themes to uh, to cover or to uh, to you know to remix. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and and so actually, Scott remixed this version of the cell theme. And so he's going to tell you about that, right? Uh, but I was going to tell you <coughs> about my inspiration to uh, for the cell theme to begin with, which was really that he was kind of pimping and uh, wanted him to be able to, you know, strut. <laughs> so that's how he got cell theme. And Scott, why don't you tell us a little more about that? Uh, I don't have any words prepared for the arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a take that I did. Um, I will say that, yeah, there's so many remixes and uh yeah so here's here's one that i did Nice job, Scott.
going to play is about a character called Gohan, who uh, <laughs> became my favorite character of the show. And try to imagine if you're not familiar with Dragon Ball Z, a half human, uh, half not human character who has actually more human qualities. Um, everything that he does, he's kind of more kind. He's trying to to not get into battle unless he has to protect someone. And this kind of attitude we had to express in music. So my task was to create something that's you know more kind. And we start with the Earth theme, which is a a theme that originally Mike wrote, that I took a little pieces and parts of that for the intro. Uh, but then what you're going to hear is actually originally written for a scene where Gohan is um, at the end of a quest of um, trying to pull out the Z sword. So it's kind of like the Z sword is a sort of big thing. So it's a pretty epic uh, track. And well, I'm biased because I wrote it, but uh, it's one of my favorite tracks.
So our next track is an, um, another character, it's an interesting one, the surface, kind of a cute character, pink, always smiling, always happy, but really innocent actually, um, at least that's what it looks like first, but then it becomes one if not the most evil character of the entire series, so that's Boo. Let's move. Did he be scared?
Thank you, guys. All right. So, Let me make sure I'm in the right place. This sounds like something disturbing. It certainly does. And that's on purpose. Um, so we're going to take a detour from Dragon Ball Z again, like we did with Siren, kind of. Um, is anyone familiar with the Berserk universe here? I am. So there are many iterations that have been created and fans have been not happy. So um, Studio Taka is uh, a, a studio of international artists who actually created a version of Berserk that's completely based on the original Kentaro Mira comic. And they asked me to write a theme for Guts. And this is a character who's very complex, very dark, um, not completely normal, um, but something, someone that you don't want to mess with. At the same time, it's a good character. So we're going to play Berserk for you, and we'll bring in the virtual orchestra. So we got one more. This is a, a classic by uh, actually none other than our Julius DeBosch over here. Uh, so we're just going to play it and uh, see if you recognize it, okay? Does, how does that sound to you guys? Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for coming. That was our show, SSJ.